Right, after having completed tutorial 1, um, which talked about configuring, you have launched the race replay, and the uh, initial setup will probably look something like this. Uh, three windows, one on the top left is the charting main charting window, on the top right is the phases and events window, and at the bottom, the graphs. Let me go through the uh, basic steps of using the race replay. What you see on the chart is the track of the boat, um, which has two arrows, the blue arrow showing the heading, and the red arrow showing the, where the wind is coming from, and it turns green when you move on to starboard. Um, and then you also have two events, which is where the boat is, is called day start, which you also see in the... Um, um, events table and the last part on the track is the day stop. Now the first thing you want to do is to move the boat around. Easiest, easiest way to do this is to use those buttons up here and you can click and go step by step or you can maintain your mouse down or you can actually go bigger steps. You can also use the shortcuts which are indicated when you leave your mouse over such as F1, F2, F4. This is moving the boat around. Easier still, you can actually put your mouse over the boat, click and drag it to any part of the racetrack. Panning and zooming. You can pan using the pan, pan buttons. Pan up or down, left or right. If ever you get lost, click on center on boat. And you can zoom in. This is out and now zoom in. And at any time as well, go back to resetting. There are some nice shortcuts. If I click on the actual um, charting and I press the control button down, a hand appears and I can now click and drag it. And I can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Numbers. On the right side of this chart window you have uh, numbers which change when you move the boat forward on the track. You can specify which numbers you wish to see by clicking on this tools button and adding some more and you might want to wish that as a preset as a standard you might have different views so I will click on the save button and call this one default so I can anytime I can go back to this click OK here are your numbers I move the boat around the um, numbers move Next step is to start adding events. Now this track is pretty bare. It just has a start and a stop event. Now what I want to do is to, to go back to the very start. A couple of ways to do this. I can put my mouse over the day start event. Right click, move out here. I could also go in the phases and events table. Click on the day start and then click go to. Now I'll move the boat forward just a teeny bit and add a first event which will be a sales up event. And at the beginning, we had mainsail 1 and we had J1. Here you can see the, uh, the uh, sail event when I move the boat forward. At the bottom of that uh, window, you can see the time and which sails are up. You can also see the boat position and where my cursor is moving to. If you need to uh, modify this event, you can right-click on top of it and modify it. Or similarly, go into the phase and events table and click modify and then change. It was actually a J2. And finally, I would like to show you as well that in the graph window um, there are some vertical lines and all these indicate your events. So it's quite easy to swap from one to the other and see where you're at. Besides some of the shortcuts work in the graph window, I can use uh, my shortcut keys to move the boat forward. Last step in this tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, uh, make the whole thing look a bit nicer. You click on Tools, Options, you must have an internet connection, click on Background Image, enable it, get to Google Map. Maybe you want to have a larger view, so I'll zoom out, probably make it a little bit less opaque, 60% opacity, click OK and when I zoom out I can see the image that I just loaded. That's it for this tutorial.